Hi everybody, today I'm cooking in my van which is very cool vintage Land Rover it's been in this place for a good couple of years but the inside still looks the way it looked when the owners of the place I'm staying with they came over from the UK to here to Spain down in the south and I have a gas bottle and cooker so I'm making some sort of pasta today so I'll show you how everything looks and it's not gonna be Instagram worthy shots because I I'm aware how unsure van life is for everyone and I don't want to be a part of it I just want to show you how the real stuff looks and it's not as great at times as you could imagine so I haven't even cleaned that up so I do have some random bits like shoes some more shoes my coffee from the morning because I'm cooking pasta that's the sieve and in general what's the thing with vans that the space is limited so you have to be very careful about what stuff you take in with you and as many things that can have more than one purpose that's you know even better because you have this space I can't stand up I'm like you know it's pretty low so that's one of the things that are not very handy but at the same time the height is not limiting you when you travel because some of the roads have um, they can't take like really tall cars um, but anyway so this is the cooker compartment and the gas bottle is over there so I have some set of pots this is a very clever solution this is like a oven pot so let me show you so the way it works is when you have your gas on it goes here inside the clay pot the smaller one and it releases the heat for the outside so it kind of accumulates heat and energy and releases it slowly let's say throughout the night if you don't want to have gas on which is you know very good idea i think i need this today um that's uh you know little beer um had some boxes and some food so generally uh, if you can have as much uh, hooks and some sort of you know shelves containers to shove things inside that's better because then you have all this workspace free so for now i will clean that up a little bit Ta-da! that's looking much better uh this we need for, for cooking the pasta and ingredients most of the ingredients i'm keeping here in this little fridge however it's open so i try to buy things only that don't really need refrigeration and i recommend it to everyone quite a good buy is eggs because they're just so versatile um milk but let's say some nut milk pastas are really good because they don't even take a long time to cook here we have some oats and what i like about oats that they dry they don't need a fridge and you can have them in so many different ways let's say sweet and savory uh if you didn't have savory porridge yet that's something like really worth trying because it's just so different we all think about you know adding veggie uh sorry fruits but actually if you add a bit of butter salt um let's say bits of bacon uh fried pepper and onion oh my god this is literally so good and it's actually us also cheap to make um so that's the thing for now here we're cooking the water trying waiting for it to boil it is fairly slow to boil because the little gas um compartments are are just small like the smallest one size was the smallest one you have in the house pretty much so it just takes time and i also don't have cover for the pots but you gotta you know you gotta play with what you have i found this lemon on the side of the road because lemons in spain just grow as any other kind of tree so that's really good that's really cool um and for the meal tonight i do have um some olives with anchovies 
I also have pesto and some my from my previous shopping I do have uh, some tomatoes so I'll make like a veggie pasta two tomatoes will be plenty and maybe I'll make like some fried egg on top of that which will be like a very quick and easy meal from some other really handy gadgets is I really recommend that opino knife because it is foldable and doesn't take any space but it actually is really 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 sharp so cutting tomatoes any kind of soft veggies is no problem opening parcels as well so I use it quite often for that so I'm really sorry for what you have to see but I'm really bad with opening bottles with something else than bottle opener so I'm probably destroying this random knife Oof. Oof. <sighs> okay, we got this. Um, that's number step number one. Step number two is wedge of lime I actually do like lime a lot in this beer so maybe I'll just add more mm. okay cheers delicious also keeping your hands dry is important part of cooking <laughs> and we have a guest come on I just very, became very friendly with, with the local dogs here uh, so that's that's quite funny uh, the water is still not boiling so we have some spare time to maybe try these olives because they really good, they look really good and they have anchovies which I'm not sure if you like anchovies but I do and I don't have to kiss anyone for the next two weeks so it's pretty much very safe to, to have them oh wow this is really nice, I don't think it's really common in other countries Okay, in Poland, I don't think they would sell them in i never seen them in the UK either. So, if you're in Spain, try them with, with anchovies. That's actually really decent. Ooh. I'm having my own tapas today. <laughs> so, after a couple of days, now it's, it's Saturday today. So, I... I'm living in this car since Tuesday and it made me realize a couple of things that if you live somewhere like that it would be nice to stand up actually especially if you know if it's really nice and sunny it's okay it doesn't matter because you spend most of the time outside and you can also cook outside but let's say here I can't move this cooker anywhere so I have to sit but it's also fairly far so I'm kind of like half sitting and half you know uh, doing <laughs> yoga uh, mid chair so that's quite uncomfortable and it's the first time I'm actually cooking something like legit here because be before I was just cooking like, I don't know, boiling water uh, but that's my first dinner by myself here I cut up these tomatoes, I don't want to like fry them too much maybe just warm them up a little bit 
Mm, so I'll have tomatoes, these olives, pesto, and a bit of olive oil, a bit of extra salt, and I feel like maybe I would add lime to it as well, so it will be having a bit of, you know, fresh taste to it as well. Uh, because why not? I also have bell pepper, which kind of would make sense to put it on. So maybe that as well. But I would have to fry it. No, maybe use it. Let's use it for some some other occasion. Not today. I think our water is slowly getting there. It's very slowly. So um, let's have chill, some chill for for some time, and we'll continue when the water is ready to to boil the pasta. Do you have anything to say? Do you enjoy living on the farm? Have you checked on all the dog and um, all the horses? Hello. I think it's fair to say that we started boiling finally. So the sun is slowly, slowly going down. However, I really want to show you the most clever solution that I need in my own car. And it's right there. And it is a solar bulb. So I think there is like a tiny panel mounted on the roof of this car. And then there is wiring and I can spend a couple of hours uh, reading books, I don't know, being on the phone or just having access to, you know, some sort of kind of good light and it doesn't cost anything, um, it doesn't need power apart from, you know, the solar panel, so and it gradually kind of dies out so let's say when we had a couple of days with, that were quite rainy and very cloudy it's still charged up, which is obviously really good but um, by the time it got dark, um, it just, um, you know, it was very weak, so I couldn't even read a book or anything. But uh, on a day like today, that when it was really sunny, it was completely no problem at all. So, uh, yeah, I really appreciate that really clever solution. On AliExpress, I think you can get it for under five quid. So, come on. You might not see any of it, but I'll just be checking on it slowly all the other ingredients are pretty much ready so i just need this pasta to work i don't know how you check your pasta or you just time it but i tend to just bite a bit of it or look how soft or not soft it is and if it's like white inside then then it's not done yet and you can carry on with boiling. <laughs> I had another dog. Trooper! Here you are. I can't, I can't, I can't fit both of you tonight. You see that? You need to choose. You need to, <laughs> you need to take turns. What's, what's, what's wrong? Well, he's, what is he about? It's very happy household. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? She wants. She wants to show me something. What is? What's? What's wrong? What's the matter? Trooper, maybe this way. Come on, show me. Show me what. <laughs> this dog is just always happy. Trooper, I can't see him. He's definitely trying to show me something. What is? What's the matter? This! Bro, this is empty. This is empty. That's it. You had your food. Oh, sorry, can't help you with that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and horses are resting here. And they have these trees with like with pretty bright bark they are eucalyptus so apparently they their leaves smell very nice although I did not have the chance to try how it smells like yet 
and apparently goats love these leaves so you know every day you learn i learned that today that they love to like bite off the bark from the eucalyptus trees i'm coming back to the car it's chilly it is chilly i'm back in the car you'll need to help me deal with that because the problem with that pot is when i leave it it kind of like is in the balance when it's full of water uh but we have these tomatoes here so that's we're gonna add and fry up a little bit with the olive oil and then my pasta is nice and ready here and so yeah all the rest of the ingredients will go over I don't really have like any garlic on something, so so excuse me for that one. So we use my old iPhone. Here it is. I mean, this pot, like, don't don't be cheap on pots. Get like a nice set. We get the tomato. I'm going to add some some little bit of salt. Um, we'll fish out some of these crazy olives. I will not cut them in like any pieces. I just, I just don't really mind them being as is. A bit more. And generally, this is like kind of one pot cooking is is my go-to when the situations like this way you have limited space Oof, that's gonna be it's gonna be a rich meal mm, okay so maybe we'll squeeze off that squeeze that in more a little bit as well just it's just the matter of warming it up a little bit uh so it has more mm, more flavor and the tomato will release the juices, so uh, that's step number one. And then maybe we'll add pasta as well. Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, so we are we ready here, and this is how it looks. So you have some olives, some pesto. This is like super easy. You can also mix in some uh, lettuce to it if you want to have it cold. If you have cold pasta and you just don't know what to do with it. And actually, I do prefer red pesto because it's just a bit more gentle in flavor. And you just throw in any veggies, like you fry up a little bit, and this is what you end up with. It's super filling, super delicious, and and easy. And you know, all the things you made it with, you can use it for any other stuff. So um, I'm gonna dig it now and. That's it for today. Thank you very much for being with me and. See you next time. Thank you so much.